Let's take a look at Derek Jeter's top five moments in the All-Star Game. At number five, it was July 7th, 1998. Derek Jeter appeared in his first All-Star Game at Coors Field. He enters the game in the bottom of the fifth inning, replacing Alex Rodriguez at shortstop. He is struck out swinging and is only at bat in the sixth inning by Montreal's Ugath Urbina. Number four is July 13th, 2004. After being elected to his first All-Star Game by the fans, Derek Jeter collects three hits, joining Carl Yastrzemski and Willie Mays as the only three players in Major League history with a pair of three-hit games in the All-Star Game. Number three, it was July 10th, 2001. Derek Jeter hits his first All-Star Game home run at Safeco Field after replacing Alex Rodriguez at shortstop in the top of the sixth inning. He led off the bottom of the frame on a 3-0 pitch and took Cubs pitcher and future teammate John Lieber deep to give the AL a 3-1 lead. At number two, it's July 10th, 2012, just two years ago. With his first inning hit, Jeter collects his 11th hit in an All-Star game, passing Mickey Mantle for the most All-Star hits in franchise history. And at number one, it's July 11th, 2000. Making his first All-Star game start in Atlanta, Derek Jeter goes three for three with a double and two RBIs, and he earns All-Star MVP honors as the AL beats the NL six to three. What are some of your favorite Derek Jeter All-Star game memories? Let us know in the comments below.